Welcome to part 8 of the Way playthrough. And after dealing with one arch nemesis in the last part, we're dealing with another one in the Battle of Guandu. Of course, we'll have to rid ourselves of Yuan Shao. At least it'll be an easier way to go than what Shu had to go through in this battle. Trust me, the forces of Shu, they got the short end of the stick. Willing to use your father as a decoy. You're quite a piece of work. Says the man who wants to use rum as bombs. I still can't get over that. He burned the rum. Brother, I hope you are okay. Oh, and Guan Yu would probably be the reason why Shu would have the hardest time. Anywho, at this point in time, we also have Xiao Hu Dun. Not Xiao Hu Dun, I meant Zhang Liao. Yes, that guy. He is on our roster as of now. And soon we'll end up getting two more people on our roster from this battle. But... Let me make sure that I have the right weapons. Just a few more people to talk to. See what all they have to say. And surely they will have even more reinforcements lying in wait. Clearly they don't have you on Shu, do they? We possess the superior skill. I don't think you on Shu will be coming in in this battle. I think he's dead by now. No, oh well. No way, he isn't. It's hard to believe he used to work for Lu Bu. Well, it's a good thing that he's not working for Lu Bu anymore. Maybe he needed a new line of work. I've never heard of such an audacious plan. Of course, Sao P is an audacious person. I have to say, he's not really one of my favorite characters. Due to that ego of his. If he can repel you and Shao, total domination may be close at hand. Mm, okay, we've got everybody situated. Let's get this battle started. Begin the march before the enemy reinforcements can arrive. All right, here goes. Now, here's the thing about this battle. This is a two-part battle, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it is. You'll have to escort Soso to the area of where he needs to be to lure out the enemy forces. This is, well, a lot easier than what Soso, not Soso, what you want Liu Bei had to go through. So, right now we're basically ambushing uh, castles. It may not be the most convenient route, but I think we should advance via the pond. All right, there's two parts to this route. Oh wait, Liu Bei showed up. Wow. I just need to take him down quickly. Anyway. I thought that was a- oh, that was a different path. Oh, never mind. We must regroup. You had to- you had to run in with Liu Bei, but you'll have more than one run in with Liu Bei. Trust me, you will. Anyway, all we need to do is just attack that one specific point. And then everything would be rosy. Well, there's not much I can truly do. Um, we were sighted after all. I don't know what you were talking about at working. But I am... But I am mowing, mowing through most of the officers here, and the swords that are in Sal P's hand are the Silver Swallows. 
Yes, they are actually doing a number on these officers. The enemy is about to be severely punished. Yay, Shinji! One of my favorite characters! So we'll have to turn around and go back. Or stop Wen Cho from going to Sao Sao. It seems someone is getting overexcited. I will soon make them see reason. Hey, where is he? Ah, and I didn't need to. Guan Yu will probably take care of that guy first. No, Wincho found me first. But actually, if you leave Wincho alone, Guan Yu will actually take out both him and Yang Liang as per the story. Anyway, Sin Ji is another thing you need to is another person you need to worry about. You don't want anybody else to defeat her. Because apparently she's supposed to be defeated and captured. Of course it's kinda hard to capture her. She will put up a fight and she will fight back. Yay! Infinite juggle for the win! Oh, I messed up the juggling. Get back up. I'm gonna slay you. Oh really? I like to see him try to be powerless. Now see, if, like I said, if I waited for Guan Yu, this guy would have already been dead. Now then. All forces retreat. You will have to escort so so back to the base. By any means. Ah, uh, great. I thought this was a retreat. Ha! Huh, nice! Anyway... Oh snap! He just quoted A-Team! I haven't heard that phrase in a while! But anyway... Yeah, he quoted the A-Team! Go figure! Make sure no harm comes to So-So, no matter what! Even if the enemy reinforcements happen to appear in front of your base! Oh, and is that Jang Hei I see? Yep. What did I tell you? Now then, let's deal with everybody that's keeping Soso from retreating. If you only knew. Um, yeah. Yes, he is. Oh, and here's a funny thing. Um, Shang Hei, if you haven't known by now, will end up joining the uh, Wei Army as well as Shen Ji. But Shang Hei joins for a reason, for a different reason. Although Shen Ji joins when she gets captured by Sao Pi, he joins because of the fact that Yu and Shao wanted him executed due to slander. But that's the end of part one. We've got Soso to safety. Now it's on to part two, and we take the fight 
to you on shoot, Michelle. God damn it! I need to get those guys straight. Things are starting to get interesting. My lord, Shu Yo said that is one messed up strategy. Uh, another defection. Lord Zhao Zhao, this should be most edifying. Hmm. All right. Now it's on to part two. The strength of Guan Yu is amazing. To think that such warriors exist outside the realm of fantasy. Lord Zhang Liao is a devotee of Lord Guan Yu. He says we could all learn much from him. I hear Chen Lin wrote a slanderous letter about your father, my lord. How terrible! My lord, I dabble in divination, and I must tell you, you will have a life-changing encounter today. When Lord Cha Shu's thinking of a plan, he looks so manipulative and nasty, he scares me, to be honest. It seems that the strategy is in place. At last. I can see an end to this battle. Hmm. Never did I expect that you would trust that man so implicitly. I need to make use of him. If only for Dian Wei's sake. I hear Lord Xu Yo used to work for Yuan Shao. They say he wasn't much use. He'll be useful this time. We can always dump him once he's served his purpose. Lord Guan Yu is nice to have on our side, but he doesn't seem very glad to be here. With an army that size, it must be difficult to keep them fed. Xu Yo will lead us to their supply depot. If we burn it to the ground, then victory is as good as ours. The supply depot is located at Wu Chao. It is possible to get them to open the gate. But we will need to make the necessary preparations. Please give me some time. Very well. I shall go and buy you the time you need. Alright, let's do this. And once again, we'll be going into yet another escort mission. But before we do, we're going to have to deal with those siege towers that happen to appear right at our base. Well, at least they give you something to destroy the siege towers with, as opposed to having, well, to destroy the siege towers manually. That's, that's a huge step up as far as I'm concerned. Cause five, that shit annoyed me. The siege towers had massive health, and while you were focusing on the towers, the guards would attack you. Here are a few shots with the catapult, they're gone. No big deal, but be careful, dude. Though, because those siege towers will also shoot. I think arrows. Yes, arrows at you. Ha! Ah, direct hit. One more, and they're done. 
And... Presto! Now we can continue on our merry way. Shuyo is ready. We must make for Wu Chao and escort him to safety. Oh, great. Escort mission number two. No offense, I, I, I don't sound bored. It's just the fact that... Wei has the most escort missions of the whole entire game. And I already went through one of the worst ones. Which is basically the one with Dion Wei and So So trapped in that burning building. Up ahead, the road forks. If you go straight ahead, ambush troops will be lying in wait. But if you go left, there is a cliff. Climb so, down. obviously, we need to go left. This is what I was trying to prefer you. Can we trust Shu Yo? I'd rather trust Shu Yo. Because the last thing I want is to be, well, ambushed. So if I do the ambushing, that just makes things better. For everyone. The enemy is right below us. We could jump down and surprise them. Okay. Surprise, motherfuckers! <laughs> I'm topping all, all you up! Ah, uh, that was unnecessary. But anyway... Get over here! And die like a man! Well, that takes care of that guy. Wait, was there another one? Nope. Okay. Next up, we get to go to that highlighted area. While I'm waiting for Chu Show to bring his behind here. Ah. Or show you what, or Zhu you, whatever the hell, or Zhu Yo, whatever you want to call him. Fact of the matter remains, I'm escorting him, and he's got stuck on the cliff. Yeah. You wonder why I don't like escort missions that much. But, it's okay. This is still a good game after all. Shu Yo, you have betrayed us. You know the punishment for treachery. Oh, and you know the punishment of trying to come after me. You're gonna get owned. countered everything I just said. Anyway, I'm going to have to beat her. Let's take this guy down first. Let's see. They should have it to where we don't defeat uh, Zinji or something like that. No, 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 they don't have it. No, no, well, let's capture her then. But, yes. We get to capture one of my favorite way, way officers of all time. One of them, anyway. Well, here's the deal. See, the people who localized this game censored all of the innuendo, well, most of the innuendo, of this game that came from Zenji. But Zenji is a very unique character, and I don't just like her because of the fact she's well endowed. No, I like her because of the fact that she is as... Well, she was, and still is, one of the characters that can predominantly break guard. Oh, and then there's Shanghai. What? As you and Xiao's life goes up in flames.
about to be turned to ash too. Oh. Or will you be a beacon that lights up this land? I apologize for that, people. I had to hold my laughter. He even falls to the ground flamboyantly. <laughs> uh -huh, nonetheless, we have burned the supply depot. And now, it's time to take down... Well, first we get to join Soso in taking down what's left of Yuan Shu's troop. Yuan Shao, sorry. So that we may bring an end to this oh, and even though you want to try, even though you really want to do this, there's no reason to, because Guan Yu would be there. But just in case something happens to Guan Yu before, during this battle, um, you might want to backtrack to the main camp because of the fact that Lu Bu, no Liu Bei, sorry, not Lu Bu, he's nowhere near like Lu Bu. Anyway, Liu Bei would be heading back to camp. So, I'll probably waste time because Guan Yu is there and Guan Yu will meet up with Liu Bei and leave the battlefield. I am sorry, but I cannot join you yet. Not until I have repaid my debt to Lord Cao Cao. I know I will see Guan Yu again. For now, we must retreat and plan... Yeah, I know I'm wasting a little bit of time trying to get there, but... Well, I'm just taking precautions, because after all, one of the prerequisites is to keep this point from being completely captured. Of which it's not. So now I can go on and take out Yuan Shu Xiao without any problems. Ah, uh, it makes no difference, they're both annoying pricks. But the good news is... We now have two officers from this battle. A sexy officer in Shen Ji, and the most flamboyant officer in all of Dynasty Warriors. Only to be beat out by Guo Jia in Extreme Legends. Anyway... <laughs> Let's just take out what's left of Yuan Shu's for Yuan Shao's forces. At least we don't have to worry about fighting two armies at once, shoot playthrough. Your brilliant performance makes me feel alive. Talk about a precarious situation. Man, I got hit badly. Who did that? Well, it's not too badly. I still have some of my life. No, I have a lot of my life left. I just got juggled, that's all. Oh, and by the way, no offense, but Shang, to all the Shanghai fans, no offense, Shanghai does not look good in yellow. It just doesn't look right. And I'm pretty sure everybody can say the same thing. Oh yeah, and Zhou Yu of Yuan Shao's forces also left, but he left and went to Shu. Anyway, we have a few more officers left. We should be nearing the end of this pretty soon. And by few more, I mean only two. The only reason why it took me so long is because of the fact that I was, like, paranoid, man. Like, Liu Bei went to the main camp and stuff. If it wasn't for that, I'd have been finished this. Shine, but please don't sparkle. <laughs> Let's finally get to Yuan Shao and finish him off. You have allowed your heart to your senses. 
One person cannot provide a battle. Dude, my army's still standing. Your army's dwindled down to two. You have no right to talk to me. Ah, what are my troops doing? There can be no defeat for the glorious Yuan. It is impossible. And now for the big prick himself. Let's be honest with you people. Yuan Shao deserves a slap in the face from not just reality, but from everybody who dislikes this new voice actor. Or him in general. Uh, we'll see about that, bitch! In honor of that, I shall face you myself. We'll see who's worthless! I will take you all out! I'll show you worthless, bitch! You fiend! Show some respect to your betters! Do you forget the nobility of my station? Your insolence! Will not be forgotten! The Yuan have been set on the road to ruin. Yuan Shao has passed away. Central Plains are now under our control. Many years have passed since Guan Du. It took longer than I had hoped. With Yuan Shao defeated, we will continue Dynasty Warriors 7-way playthrough in Part 9. See you guys next time.